What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. Fantasy football is around the corner, and I'm sure a lot of you already have your draft day set up and ready to go. If you have the first pick in fantasy football, you came to the right video as I will show you who I will pick in the first pick and the strategies behind it. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So with the first pick, who I would decide to choose there's no need to overthink this. There is no further explanations for this pick. The minute the draft button press blue and Christian McCaffrey is there, you're going to go ahead and select it. So pick one, you're going to select Christian McCaffrey. Round two, pick 12. You do have the last pick in the second round before it is your turn again in round three with pick one. So there is no right or wrong answer between the running back or the running or the wide receiver pick but i'm gonna go ahead and select a running back here and select isaiah pacheco i think he's gonna have a career year especially that jarek mckinnon is not coming back i do think pacheco is gonna have more of a running rushing workload and may play a huge role as a pass catcher out in the backfield so i'm gonna go ahead and select isaiah pacheco with two running backs on our team all right, round three, pick one. We do have two running backs, and now it's time to get ourselves a wide receiver. So let's go ahead and go to the wide receiver position. You have Chris Olave, Nico Collins, DK Metcalf, Jalen Waddle. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and select Nico Collins. I do see that he can have a top 15, top 12, or even a top 10 um, fantasy season in 2024. I understand that that Stephon Dix is there. But there's a pick, picker poison type wide receiver room. I think there's going to be a lot of attention either on Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell. But I do think that one of the three are going to have their opportunities during the season. But I do like Nico Collins in this spot in round three, pick one out of these four options. So I'm going to go ahead and select Nico Collins. All right, round four, pick 12. You can look at a wide receiver here. You have DJ Moore, Cooper Cup, Amari Cooper, Devontae Smith, or take a look at the running back position. You do have James Conner, Najee Harris, Zamir Wright, Raheem Mostert. With the last pick in the round before it's your turn again, you can select either or a running back or wide receiver. I'm going to go ahead and select a running back here, and I'm going to go ahead and select James Conner. All right. Round five, pick one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wide receiver room. DJ Moore, Cooper Cup, Amari Cooper, Devontae Smith. I'm going to select Cooper Cup here. I understand that he's been injured quite a few times during his um, NFL career. He's been healthy one time in his eight NFL seasons. But if he can stay healthy in 2024, along with Matthew Stafford staying healthy, I do see him getting a good amount of target share. And I know that Pukunukua had a rookie breaking year in 2023. I don't think that's going to replicate in 2024, especially if Cooper Cup is healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and select Cooper Cup round five, pick one. All right. Round six, pick 12. If you look at the running back room right here, you got Jalen Warren, Warren, Gus Edwards, wide receiver. You look at tight ends, quarterback. Um, I do like a quarterback here, um, so I'm going to go ahead and select Dak Prescott. I know that Kyler Murray does provide dual threat ability. You do have Brock Purdy, and I think it's a bit of a stretch here to select Jaden Daniels. As long as CeeDee Lamb is with the, with the uh, Dallas Cowboys, Dak is going to have phenomenal regular season stats, and why not just have that on your team and have a quarterback that can produce – um high level regular season numbers and you know round six pick 12 you do have a pick right after so go get Dak and we'll select him all right round seven pick one i think you can either look at a running back here or wide receiver honestly i'm a big fan of jalen warren and especially with arthur smith as your offensive coordinator we did see the workload of what he did in the running back room at the Atlanta Falcons. And I think he kind of bring that similar style to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, we have not seen too, too much of Najee Harris produce at the level that we all think he could. And I'm a big fan of Jalen Warren. He's solid in the run game, solid as a pass catcher. And I do like that versatility that he could provide, especially as a flex. So I'm going to go ahead and select Jalen Warren 
round seven, pick one. All right, round eight, pick 12. You're up again. We got the quarterback room, running back, wide receiver. Honestly, I think we should kind of look into the wide receiver room here. And out of these four options, I'm going to select Jaden Reed. Um, I know Deontay Johnson did get traded to the Panthers. It's kind of up in the air of how Bryce is going to look in 2024. Christian Watson, deep threat, but he's been riddled by injuries the past few seasons. Can we really put too much stock of him playing a full season? If they do, the Packers are going to have a great season. But Christian Watson has been getting hurt the past few seasons. You cannot invest too, too much in him right now. And DeAndre Hopkins getting up there in age. He is injured right now, but I do like Jaden Reed, Jaden Reed here, one of the top slot receivers in the NFL. And he's starting to build trust with Jordan Love. And Jordan Love is the franchise quarterback of the Green Bay Packers. So I'm going to go ahead and stock up the wide receiver position and select Jaden Reed here in round eight, pick 12. Okay, round nine, pick one. I'm all for getting a quarterback here in the spot, and I do think that Jaden Daniels is one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in 2024, especially he's a rookie. I understand he's a rookie, but he is my dark horse for rookie of the year. I do think that he's going to thrive in this Cliff Kingsbury air raid type offense. I do think it suits him. He gives me RG3 type vibes, and I do think that he is a great pre-snap processor, and I think he'll do great as a quarterback for the commanders as long as they keep him upright. But I do like the dual threat of him putting up numbers through the air and on the ground. So let's go ahead and get a dual threat quarterback in Jaden Daniels. Round 10, pick 12. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a wide receiver in the spot. We do have four running backs, and I think it was time to kind of boost up the wide receiver room again. JSN, Jamison Williams, Tyler Lockett, Rashid Shaheed. I do think that JSN is going to have a great 2024 season. New head coach, new offensive coordinator. It's going to be a very pass-happy offense, and I do think that JSN is – going to thrive in his offense. I know you see Jamo Williams here. He's going to have his opportunities, but I'm probably going to put um, a good amount of stock in JSN here. I just like his, I just like him as a wide receiver. Um, I think he's a great slot receiver and I think that he will bounce back in 2024, especially with this new offensive scheme. So JSN, I will select him in round 10, pick 12. All right. Round 11, pick one. Don't think we've yet to select a tight end. Yep, we have not. There is Jake Ferguson, Evan Ingram, David Njoku, Brock Bowers. Um, I am going to select Evan Ingram. Um, I do like how he played this past season, got a lot of receptions with Brian Thomas Jr. coming in as a rookie. He's going to stretch the field. You have Christian Kirk, Dave Davis, and I think um, Evan Ingram is going to get, you know, a a good amount of opportunities maybe his target share will decrease a little bit but i do th i do like evan ingram and trevor lawrence is going to sling the ball a lot um he did have he was a top 10 quarterback in air yards this past season i do not think that he's going to stop slinging the rock so i'm gonna go ahead and select evan ingram here um i think that'll be a great tight end to have especially in the spot in round 11 pick one all right round 12 pick 12 I think we should go ahead and get look at some running back positions or a wide receiver. Let's see what some wide receiver options are here. Mike Williams. Um, they have tight end, kicker, Justin Tucker. To be honest, I do I do like defense here. I do like defense here, especially with the New York Jets in this spot because we're right after the Jets. You have the Cowboys, but New York Jets, top three, top five defense in the NFL. One of the best pass defenses in the NFL. It is a pass happy league. And I don't think that the New York Jets are going to regress in 2024. So I'll select the New York Jets here, round 12, pick 12. All right, round 13, pick one. Go running back here, wide receiver. Don't need a quarterback. You have two quarterbacks. You can go tight end here. Um, Dalton Schultz is there. Pat's there. Let's go. Let's see what's out here. I'm 
I'm all for taking a flyer at the running back positions. Running backs do get hurt a lot during the NFL season. Do have Roshan Johnson, Damian Pierce, Bucky Irvin. Um, I'm probably going to take my chance. Honestly, you take a flyer here at the running back position. Um, so we'll go ahead and let's select um, Damian Pierce. Round 14, pick 12. We're going to go ahead and select a kicker. We do not have a kicker here. So we're going to select Jason Sanders, high octane offense, Miami Dolphins. I do not think they're going to stop scoring touchdowns or moving the ball. And it will put Sanders in a good position to get his field goals in, especially point after attempt. So let's go ahead and select the Miami Dolphins kicker, Jason Sanders. Last but not least, round 15, pick one, the last round in fantasy football. Take a flyer here, look at the wide receiver room, see what's out there, suggest another player. Or we can take a look at what our team, we do have some running backs. I don't mind an extra tight end, um, depending on, you know, game day matchups here. Um, you have Dalton Schultz, Pat. Um, honestly, you could just take a flyer here. Um, I don't mind two tight ends. In case something happens to your tight end, you have a tight end as a stash or a rotate on matchups. So honestly, we'll just take a flyer here and select Dalton Schultz as a nice backup tight end. All right, there you have it. These are my selections if I were to have the first pick in fantasy football. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if there's anything that you will do differently. But thank you so much for watching. And if you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe as I do make weekly fo football content every Mondays and Fridays. Thank you so much and catch you next time.